Hi everyone, tonight I'm going to be doing a fragrance review on a fragrance I recently purchased this afternoon called Butterfly by Hani Mori. For those of you who don't know, Hani Mori is a niche fragrance. All of my other fragrances in the past have been designer level fragrances that were common and easy to find. They smelled great, they worked great, I got lots of compliments. However, recently my husband started purchasing niche fragrances for himself. And I kind of wanted to get one for myself, kind of get familiar with it. So I went into Holt Renfrew this afternoon and I told her I wanted a niche fragrance. I wanted something fun, flirty, romantic, girly. And right away she recommended Butterfly by Honey Mori. So I tried it on. It smelled delicious. It smelled sweet, romantic. You just kind of fall in love with the fragrance right away. And it's not one of those ones where you have that overpowering alcohol scent when you spray it. You just right away smell the sweetness. You don't smell any of that synthetic artificial scents you would smell in more um, common designer end fragrances. I walked around and after a few hours, you know, it still smelled exactly the same as when I sprayed it. So I decided to purchase it. I got the 100 mil for $100. And it came with six little travel size samples like this. And I really like these because these are great to just throw into your purse or into your pocket. It would even fit into your wallet. And these are great for traveling. I'm actually going to use these next week when I'm traveling because for me personally, I'm always really paranoid having a glass bottle with me when I'm traveling. I'm always paranoid it's going to break or Maybe the temperatures where I am are not just going to be a good temperature for the fragrance. So definitely I'll be using these guys next week. It also came with a 15 millimeter lotion. Now to be quite honest with you, whenever I get gift sets, I always neglect using the lotion. But the lotion is a really great step to take when you are using your fragrances. You can kind of think of it in cosmetic terms when you're using foundations. If you apply your foundation, it's still going to look great and it's going to do its job, but if you use a primer before you use your foundation, it's going to look a little bit better and it's going to last a little bit longer. The same thing works with lotions for your fragrances. If you apply your lotion first and then your fragrance, it's going to smell a little bit more intense and it's going to last a little bit longer. So I definitely recommend using the lotion and I'm definitely going to try and get into the habit of using this and it's really great that they included this in with the gift set. It also came with this cute little beach tote, which will be, you know, great for spring and summer to go to the beach, just kind of throw all your stuff in there. It's really great, so I'll definitely be using that. Now I'll get into the notes of the fragrance. So it's described as having luscious berries, fine blooms, rich woods. So when you first apply this fragrance, the scents that are going to arrive right away are wild strawberries, sweet blackberries, black currants, and bilberries. After a little bit of a while, a few hours later, those scents are going to transition into Bulgarian roses, elong elong, jasmine, and French peonies. So really a romantic, sweet fragrance. The lasting impressions on this fragrance is where we get more into the rich woods. I've been wearing this for about nine hours now. It still smells sweet, but it's kind of warmed up a bit to my skin. And I'm getting exactly what they described, which is rosewood, almond wood, sandalwood, and French cedar. Really all excellent scents that are beautiful transition throughout the day. Now, this fragrance is made in Paris, France. And that really explains the rich, romantic, sweet scents you're getting from this. When you think of Paris, you know, you think of romance, love, and this bottle is basically France. This is Paris in a bottle. It smells romantic, it smells sexy, flirty, fun, and it's just a it's, and overall a great fragrance. The longevity on this is amazing. Like I said, I've been wearing this for about nine hours. I can still smell it just like I sprayed it a few hours ago. So it works really great. And I did use the lotion on it first. So that may, um, might 
make it last a little bit longer. Now, the bottle I really like. It's just a simple, romantic bottle. Um, it's nothing really fancy. It's nothing really loud or overpowering. It's just a nice, delicate bottle for a nice, delicate fragrance. And Honey Mori's signature is the Butterfly. So this is the Butterfly fragrance. And um, I don't know if you guys have all noticed this, but the cap on the bottle is actually butterfly wings to the side. So I didn't actually notice that until I read it on their website. And then right away I'm like, oh my god. So that's really sweet. It's really cute. And um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this fragrance. It's amazing. It's sweet. It's sexy. It's sensual. If you're looking for a niche fragrance, if you haven't tried niche fragrances and you kind of just want to dip your toes into the niche world, I would definitely try this, the Honey Mori. I can definitely see myself using this every day. I've actually sprayed it on me quite a few times today. I just want to like, I just soak in that sweetness. So you can get this at Holt Renfrew. Um, it's available at a lot of other places in the States, but I'm from Canada. So I got this from Holt Renfrew and I believe you can get it from Sephora as well. In the States, I believe you can get it at Neiman Marcus, Sephora, and Sex Fifth Avenue, and I'm sure there's a few other places there as well. You can check out their website and um, leave your comments or questions in the link below.